Okay, guys. Um, this is uh, an unboxing of three 2012 model Pocky Shaft. On the left side is CCM U Plus Crazy Strong, and this one fit with 0.52 the tapered blade. Um, I don't have one in hand, so this one right now. I will not put a blade on, but this one is um, 75 flex and grip C. It actually has a thin layer of the rubber filling coating. It feels light, and uh, I try to bend it. Mm, it's okay. Well, I mean, my left wrist is able to flex some part. Okay, and the middle one is the Bauer Vepro. Power, Vapro, Apex SE, Cryptech. And this one has the texturing technology. Well, but surprisingly, I remember the texturing technology saying that uh, making the chef durable. Solid, but still lightweight and great performance. I had tried the feeling of the Total One NFG composite stick in the uh, local store, and it feels really light and really good. And the, this shaft also feels in that way, but maybe since this is only Apex and not Total One, so yeah, I shouldn't really make a comparison. But I remember they both use the texturing technology. I mentioned that one is because uh, the right side one is the Sherwood T90. This one, which as you can see in the product description, it has the zone that you can cut without affecting the flexibility. Um, I tend to point this out because um. So I just opened the box, took out these three shafts. The shear will actually feel just slightly heavier than the crazy strong. And also even, uh, well, not even. Um, the T90 feels a little bit heavier than CCM, but lighter than the Apex SC. I was a little bit surprised. I thought these two will be about the same level, but this one feels a little bit more I don't know, maybe say firm. Um I think maybe I think maybe because it is the flexibility causing a little bit of weight difference. Because this one is power Zepro Apex SC I order eighty seven flexibility. I purchased all three from the inline warehouse and this is the last one. And only 87 available. The CCM Crazy Strong is 75. So does the T90 is 75 too. The let me press something right here. Let me see. 75 too. So um, about the way I think I shouldn't really make a comparison because uh. I suppose the more flexibility means they have to make the fiber more strong. Maybe you say add one more layer or two more layers, so the weight will be a little bit heavier. Mm, yeah, overall, all three of them feels very good, but um, I'm not sure if it's the manufacturer they were um, careless or something. I was very surprised about the uh, can you see this A actually you can see the upper part is kind of the paint is it's not uh in good order and the left the left side of that A you can see the paint paint is a bit weird. Yes, the layer has some Paint chipped off, and the manufacturer just touch up some paint and then clear with 
uh, covered with a clear coat, not just power, also the sure wood. See, it, the color is a little bit weird, right above the dash line. So that's next to the H, and uh, yeah, these two parts, I'm very surprised. It's brand new. And the manufacturer damage the paint and then just do a bit touch up. And the work is so lame, easy to figure. I, I suppose there will be excellent condition. Turn out they actually have some a bit deformed. Yeah. Wow, even though it's paint. And yes, I know you are going to say it doesn't matter because when you shoot, all that important is the shot, flexibility, and the performance. I agree, but I just want to complain. Okay. Uh, I will do another video after I go out and try out the shooting. Oh, by the way, I personally like to use uh, shaft rather than the composite. First, because of price. Second, because of combination op options. And third, I, fig I, I do have composite shaft sticks, and I figure composite because they have the Bone core inside the actual space that you can really grind on the floor, plain pot is way less than a, a traditional like wood or ABS blade because for ABS you pretty much have the whole blade to play with because there's nothing inside. So does the wood stick, nothing inside. You you can play from the beginning all the way to the end. But for composite. I check online and also on video. Composite normally will have a foam about this wide inside. So which means once only this amount. So saying your phone phone is normally like this. So from my index finger to my middle middle finger, only this amount is what you can really play. Cross that amount. You start to reach the phone, your stick is going to lose the performance. I know that because I broke two composite blades just because I read, I finished all those playable thickness and start to reach the phone, phone part. The bottom part cracks and then the blade is wide open. And uh, I forgot to say, with the Apex, I used the blade that I purchased from a seller in Canada. This one doesn't really say which brand, just all black. But man, I uh, it was it was for auction two for ninety nine cents. Yeah, I got it ninety nine cents for both. And I had the other one that is installed with my one ninety Nike Power Shaft. That one performs so awesome. I learned reach shot very well and had a lot of improvement compared to the old days just by using the display. So I'm going to try this one on. This one has a little bit of spatial. I don't know how to say, but the curve is more like from here, goes here, and then had a bit more in bending to inside and also the the bending part is a bit thicker compared to other regular blades. And uh, for the Sherwood, I, I installed the Eastern ABS. And uh, I will try how does it feel. And the ABS is the P3 Hall pattern. Okay, and these two, they look alike. But when I actually trying to compare them together, the left side still bend a little bit more toward the inside. Okay, so this is a brief unboxing and uh, introduction of my new three shaft. I will do another video after I try to shoot some box in the hockey ring and see how the feeling are. Okay, thank you. Bye.